Hi everyone! In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to take a jar ornament from the Dollar Tree and transform it into a beautiful photo ornament. In addition to the ornament, you'll need a photo template. We have 12 different styles available on our website at poppyhilldesigns.com. I'll put a link in the description box below. These templates have been designed specifically to fit these ornaments. The next part of the video will show you how to use these templates, then I'll go into detail on how to assemble one and show you some other examples of the finished ornaments. So heat up your glue guns and let's get started. For today's tutorial I'll be using Photoshop CC 2020. Any program that supports PNG file format should also work for this project. So this uh, gray and white checkerboard that you see here represents transparency in Photoshop. It also works on a layer basis, so this is the top layer of the project. So I'm going to drag and drop a piece of clip art onto the template, and you can see at the moment it's on top of the template. So I'm going to click that layer and drag it below the template, and then I can make my adjustments to size it perfectly in that space. Now if I click on that layer, any subsequent layers that I pull on top will go below the actual uh, template. So if I drag my next, next uh, photograph onto here, you can see it went behind the template, so that's great. And then I'll just resize this photo. Now you may need to resize your photos before you bring them in, because uh, you can see it will go over into the next space. But this one, I think I should be able to squeeze it in just perfectly. Let's see. There we go. Then I will drag and drop the next photo in. And you can see how quickly this process goes. And then finally, I'll drag the last photograph in. Now you could add um, additional clip art to these, like if you had maybe a little holly leaves clip art or something cute for Christmas, Christmas bells or something like that. You can certainly do that and you could also add text to make it even more personalized. But I'm just going to show you the basics of dragging the photos into the template. So now that I've got this all complete, I'm going to save it. Now I'm just going to save it as a JPEG file. So I'm just going to go save as and to the end of the template name I'm just going to type Xmas1 and then I'll choose JPEG as the file format and then I will put it into my examples folder and save it. So now that's all done. So the next thing I need to do is go ahead and print these out. <clears throat> So I've gone ahead and processed a document or set one up already. And this is an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and it's in landscape mode. So I can comfortably fit uh, three of these on a single sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper. Now you can print these out on photo paper that will give you a really nice, crisp, um, thicker quality or glossier look to it. For this example, I've just been using regular quality white paper. You know, it's it's copy paper, but it's got a high brightness to it, and that's working out well for me. So now that I've got these three templates ready to go, let me go ahead and get them printed, and then I'll show you how I put them into the ornament. So now that you've seen how easy it is to put your photos into a template, here's one already printed out. I've done this just on the plain white copy paper, and I've used the highest print quality from my inkjet printer. You can certainly print this on photo paper or you could take it to Office Depot, Staples, someplace like that and have them print it for you. Just make sure that you do not resize the template because it has been designed to fit these jar ornaments specifically. So this is the ornament we'll be using today. It's from Crafter Square and I purchased this from the Dollar Tree. And I have seen them at different um, stores online as well, and I'll put some links in the description box below. So I'm just going to take the bottom off, and then I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the edge of the template. Just bend it back a little bit. 
Then I'm going to roll my photo or my template up and it just needs to be small enough so that it can fit inside the jar. Okay, oops, and I need to make sure that tape goes below the photo. And it's a little bit fussy to do on camera, so I might have to do it upside down. Now, there are seams in the, the uh, molding of the ornament. If you're fussy about that, line up where that template joins with the seam and when you go over to the other side, it will fall down here. Let me see if you can see that. It'll fall down here rather than falling over one of the photographs. It's just a minor detail, but you know, can make it make a difference. So now that I've got that all in place, I'm going to push that piece of tape down to secure the ornament. So I've got that with the seam going down here. So there you go. So we've got all the photographs in there. So then the next choice you need to make is what are you going to fill it with? Well, when I was also at the Dollar Tree, I saw these adorable little pine cones. And I thought, you know, that would be nice to put in here. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to put enough in there to cover the top part of the jar. So give that a little shake. So this will cover all of this area right here. Okay. Then I'm going to take some tissue paper and it's just regular red tissue paper. And I'm just going to fill the remainder of the space with that tissue paper. And that'll hold those pine cones in place. So now you can see we've got these in here. Probably should pay a little bit more attention and fill those correctly. So we've got the photographs in there. I filled it up with tissue paper. Now I just need to deal with the cap. So if I put that on there, it looks okay, but I'm not really that keen on those, that color combination. It's kind of a, a silvery color, silver platinum. So what I'm going to do is get my handy glue gun out and I'm going to add some ribbon around there to offset that color. So I'm just going to cut a piece of white ribbon here. I'm going to bring my glue gun into the shot. And I'm going to just put a little, little tab on here just to hold the ribbon in place, just like that. Put a few more dots all the way around. Oops, that one was a bit bigger. And then I'll put another one here at the end. Okay, so I've got that white around the jar. Then I think I'll add a little bit of gold. So again, just cut a piece to size. And I'll follow that same process. So a little dab of glue. I'm surprised I have any fingerprints at this point in my life <laughs> with all the glue guns that I've, or the hot glue that I've used. And I'll finish this off right here. All right, so there is the bottom part done. Put that on there, so that's looking good. Now I want to decorate a little bit more on the top. Now, it looks fine just the way it is, but I'm not really liking the silver part here. So I'm going to clip off 
that silver hanger that came with it. And I think I'll go ahead and repeat that ribbon around the top. So let me see, I need to cut a piece that's going to fit. And I'll just repeat that process. So just a little dab of glue. too large. And you'll obviously take a bit more time to do this so that it it looks much better than what I'm doing here on camera. So now this is all starting to come together. And then I think I'll do a little bit of gold around it as well, just so that it copies the, the base of the ornament. There we go. Oh, almost. The one thing I do hate about glue guns is all those little strings you get. All right, so that's good right there. So now you can see this is really coming together. It looks really cute. Get rid of some of those little strings. And then what I did is, uh, as a final touch here is I took a few more of those pine cones and I added some gold thread and I'm just going to string or let them hang from there from the top part of the ornament. So I'll just give this a quick tie. And you can see that that's starting to look really, really good with those pine cones and that ornament can hang just like that. Okay. And then what I would do as a final touch, I would just take some more of that gold thread that I had and I'll make a, a loop to go through here so that that can hang on a tree. So that's how easy it is to put one of these together. And you know, you can fill these up with different things. You can make them a gift within a gift. So for example, if you wanted to give this maybe as a stocking stuffer, you could take um, a lip balm or something like that and wrap that up in the tissue paper and put that up inside. So that way they've got a nice little gift inside an ornament that you could customize specifically, you know, for the person that you're going to give it to. So let me show you some of the other ones that I've done. This one is the uh, argyle one. It's got the nice green argyle pattern to it. And I had purchased these beads also at the Dollar Tree. And I did the same process that I did with the Christmas ornament there, is I put a layer of beads and then I filled it up with tissue paper, chose some ribbon that, car you know, that matches. And then for this part on the lid, it's quite a soft plastic. So all I did was took a craft knife and you know, just worked it through there till I got the hole the size that I needed. And then I just used a dab of glue, hot glue, and then I put some masking tape on there just to hold it in place. This would also be an excellent pattern for somebody who golfs. So you could put some golfing pictures in there or some funny golf sayings, and you could put a gift in there. I think a golf ball actually would fit in there. So there's another design choice for you. And then this one, this is my little doggy who has since gone to the Rainbow Bridge. You know, dogs leave paw prints on our hearts. Isn't that the truth? And so I thought this would be a nice one to put a few of his photos in there 
and then I can put that on the tree. So that's a pretty simple one. And then because I'm going to put it on the tree, I didn't want to put anything heavy in here. Get rid of these strings. So what I did was I just put some feathers in there. Now you can buy, you know, bags of feathers. What I did was I was at the Dollar Tree and I bought one of the feather boas and I just plucked off the feathers and used that to fill up this space. Another thing that you could do if you didn't want to fill it and you wanted to put it on the tree, you could put a hole in the bottom here and then insert one of your Christmas tree lights up and then it becomes a lantern. Just be careful that you don't put anything that could be flammable inside, I, apart from this paper template, obviously. But you could, um, I wouldn't leave the feathers in there. But if you, or you could, if you wanted to display it just by itself, a white light would be better here. But you could do that and then you could, you know, place a light in here and put it on its own stand and that would be a nice, um, a nice piece to put on, you know, a table or, or something like that. So that's another thing you can do with those. And then this one here, I really enjoy the beach and I live not too far from the beach. So I had a collection of small shells and then this is the template that has like a beech wood effect to it. So I went ahead and just filled that with some pictures and added some text here. And then I'd also purchased from the Dollar Tree this Crafter Square natural jute cord. So I've just gone ahead and wrapped that around, tied a bow, and then glued on some of the, the shells for extra decoration. And I think what I'll do is also take that jute and just go around the top of this ornament and finish that off. So what's nice about this one is there are a lot of Christmas or seaside and beach Christmas ornaments. But this one you could display by itself after the holiday season, just put it on its own stand and you could put a variety of seashells underneath there, maybe some sand on a plate, something like that. And that would make a lovely home decor item. So again, I stuffed it with the tissue paper, but I put some of the fake snow in there. And my intention was to make those look more like clouds, but you can see it's very small. So. I thought, well, it could be, you know, the sky and the clouds, but it could also be the ocean and some of the white caps on the waves. So I guess it just really depends how you, how you look at it. And then the last one that I'll share with you today, this is the snowflake template. And this is one of my favorites. So I've gone ahead and I've added um, these styrofoam balls also available at the Dollar Tree. So these are super light. So I filled it with that and then put some white tissue paper, got my silver ribbon. And then on the bottom part, again, I just drilled another hole and put like a little jingle bell from a, a Christmas pick that I had. So I had this Christmas pick right here. And so I used the bells from that. And then it also had these cute little styrofoam balls. And I thought those also kind of look like snowballs. And then also from the Dollar Tree, was the baker's twine. So I used this blue one as the hanger for the ornament. So you go, there you go. So there's another design opportunity. So I hope this has inspired you to try making one of these ornaments. The templates are available on our website, poppyhilldesigns.com. I'll put a link in the description box below. And we do have 12 different designs that you can choose from. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have all the information needed to create your own ornaments. I'm in the process of finishing up some new designs for round ornaments that will be great for both sublimation and decoupage, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future notifications. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day!